Lego Worlds is an incredible game. It's like having an endless bucket of Legos. You can build a huge castle or a small house in the clouds. Learn how to design and create your own world with me in this tutorial series. Become a master designer slash builder. In this series, you'll learn how to design and build many different architectural styles. We'll cover lighting, furnishing, and decorating interior and exterior spaces. We'll build castles, dungeons, bridges, skyscrapers, and even a spaceship. So get your game ready and follow along. Hey guys, welcome back to Designing and Building in LEGO Worlds. My name's Brandon, this is Max. If you guys watched the last episode, we lit our beautiful beach house. And in this episode, we are going to decorate it. We're going to use a combination of placed objects and built objects. You'll find the place objects in the free build menu under objects. Now the build objects we're going to do with the build tool and we're going to use Lego blocks to build them. All right, Max, you ready to do some building? <laughs> okay, you guys, we are going to decorate each room of the house and after we're done decorating, we're gonna walk you through and tell you why we did what we did. All right, Max, let's get going. All right, Max, are you all done building? <laughs> you guys, Max is done decorating the beach house and he is pretty happy about it because it looks amazing. So let's go on a little tour and we'll tell you guys why we did what we did. So right now, Max is on the upper patio and up here we've put some lounge chairs, we've put some palm trees and we put an umbrella and a beautiful sectional sofa. We built the sectional sofa because there aren't any models like it in the game. Um, the only thing is you can't go, you cannot sit on uh, sofas that you build yourself. So keep that in mind. If you want to be able to sit, have your character sit on the sofa, you'll have to use one of the objects in the game. For example, when Max walks over here to this lounge chair, the little E pops up. That means if you press E, <laughs> there's an action available 
on that particular object. So you definitely want to use some of these objects in your builds so that you can see these cute little animations like the banana dipped into the coffee. <laughs> Alright Max, quit slacking on the job buddy. <laughs> So we've got this beautiful patio up here, so at nighttime, Max can come out here with his friends and they can watch the sunset, because the sun sets right over here. In here, this is the very top level, we've got a beautiful conservatory with flowers everywhere. Now we've got these nice benches here, so you can go ahead and sit on these, <laughs> just like Max is doing right now. All right, Max, why don't we go into first person perspective so it's a little easier to see around here. All of these plants can be found within the game. Now if you don't have sandbox mode activated, you'll have to find each of these and unlock them as you play. If you're in sandbox mode, then you can place any one of these objects. Alright, we've run into a small issue here, it's no big deal really. Um, there's a small glitch in the game, and I'm assuming they're going to fix this in the future. If you place a door, and you place bricks around it, sometimes the door will break and it will go away, and you won't be able to build anything where the door used to be. So we have to leave this here. There's nothing we can do to fix it, but it doesn't look too bad. All right, Max, let's go to the other side of the patio. On this side of the patio, we've built a barbecue right here, which Max can actually use. See, there's a little E that pops up when you get close to it. So Max is barbecuing some sausages right now. We've got a beautiful table and chairs over here. And then on this side of the house, we've built in a set of stairs because there wasn't any way to get to this upper level. So Max, let's head down the stairs. Max, these stairs on the back of the house look awesome. <laughs> got a little potted plant here. If you go up the stairs, we have some more lounge chairs back here because, you know, Max wants to have a lot of friends over in the future, so they need spots to lounge. Now, be careful about putting objects too close to other objects or close to doors because when Max walks over here and he tries to close this door, he might actually end up using the lounge chair instead of the door. <laughs> so be aware of that. All right, Max, let's go in the house and show off the beautiful interior space. We're going to go into first person perspective here. Okay, this is the master bedroom. Now we wanted a different color wall on this back wall, so we just placed blue bricks in front of the gray bricks. We've got two nightstands here that have lamps on them that are always on, and then a big beautiful bed. Now this bed, there's a little E that pops up, it has an action. All right, now in the main room, we've got a beautiful sofa here. We have a ceiling fan. We've got a nice little coffee table right here. And then we have a kitchen and a television, of course. <laughs> now in the kitchen, we have a stove right here. And then we have a beautiful tile backsplash right here. And we also put some under lighting underneath the cabinets here, just like in a real kitchen. Over here, we have a console table and a regular table. Now the reason that we use these benches instead of different chairs is because Max can actually sit in this <laughs> and eat his dinner. We use the small round studs as poles on the cabinets. In this room and the bedroom we've put a ceiling fan because it looks pretty cool in a beach house. And we've also placed two lamps that you have to turn on and off. To turn them on and off you press the F key. You can also turn on this lamp, but it has a really bright yellow glow, so we're just going to keep that off for now. Right here we have a small garlic station where who's ever cooking can chop up garlic and add it to some delicious meals. Now these two stools here, these are actually end tables, but there wasn't a stool that was the right color. So we just went ahead and placed these as stools, although the Lego characters cannot sit on them, they look really nice. Alright, let's go and check out the smaller bedroom, Max. This is a little kid's bedroom, so we've put a small bed in here, and we have a gumball machine, a toy car, and then a bouncy mushroom where you can bounce. 
and pretty little like um, glitter thingies fly around. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Perfect for a kid's room. Okay, Max, why don't you show them the back patio? This is the back patio. It's pretty simple. We just have a couple of lounge chairs on either side so people can sit down and relax and watch the sunset. All right, Max, say goodbye to the nice people. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow the designing and building series in LEGO Worlds, then please subscribe. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.